Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a take two video on redoing a teak wood outdoor table. We did this last year. We uh, redid this with a Minwax teak oil. Um, and we thought it turned out really, really good. It just didn't wear that way. So um, we're at the second year. This is the, we did it last year. We're going to do it this year again. And we're going to try a different teak oil. This time we're going to use the Watco Teak Oil in Stain with a little bit of flag stone color to it. So we're going to give this a try because the Minwax Teak Oil was garbage. And you can take a look at the table and you can see it just, it took places and then it just like wore terribly on it. So when we go through it this time, we're going to have to start over. So we're going to go with a real heavy grit sandpaper. We're going to go with the 60 grit, super coarse. We're going to sand it down really, really well with that first. Then we're going to use the 220 to make it a smoother surface. We're going to go over that a uh, second time with it, with a disc sander, an, orbital, an orbiting disc sander that we have that's a Ryobi. And then we're going to use this teak oil and a couple of um, foam brushes to basically put some coats on here. So that's what we're up to, and we're going to show you all the steps along the way. So we're just opening the table up and putting our leaves in to get it to full expansion. Oops. Like that. Then we'll push it all back together again so we can sand it all smooth. I recommend sanding an outdoor area, especially when you're talking to real heavy sanding because the wind will blow some of the dust away for you, so it's nice. The first step is going to be sanding down to the raw wood. Uh, so we're going to use a heavy, really coarse 60 grit sandpaper. And we're going to go over the whole top of the table really well with it. And then uh, we'll do the legs as well. And that's what we're doing first. All right, so you can see we went over it with a rough sandpaper. We went over with the 60 grit sandpaper. Took off all the coating of the Minwax that we had before, all the black. You can see we sanded the junk out of it. So now we're gonna do some 220 grit just to give it a little bit of smoothness to it. And, uh, and then we'll be ready to actually apply the Watco, I guess it's called, um, teak oil and stain. So, um, we're going to do that. We still have to do the legs as well, but um, that's what we're up to right now. So, I'm going to start off with this Waco teak oil stain. It's got a little, it's got some stain in it too. So it's not just teak oil, it's got a flagstone color to it. And I'm gonna start off by putting a coat on, a one coat on the top here, letting it dry overnight and then uh, doing another coat. So um, I'll probably do at least two, maybe even three coats because it is a table and because it's a flat surface, I wanna make sure that it's pretty well sealed. And then I also have to do the legs. So I have to seal the legs as well. But you can see that we got it nice and clean. The wood looks great. Typically, I would use a red solo cup, but um, I can't find one. So I'm gonna have to use this little clear cup I got. And just put a little bit of this teak oil in there. And then I'm gonna keep, I'm just using a little foam brush here. These things are like a buck, they're really easy. And as long as your wood's nice and smooth, which ours is, because we sanded it and then we sanded it with some 220 grit as well. As long as you do that, you have a really easy time of just kind of applying it. So let me show you how it's done real quick. So with this, there's really no rhyme or reason to how you put it on because you're doing it. But I always try to go, I always try to go with the wood for the most part, just because um, you know it's easier to brush it on. Plus, you're using a foam brush, so it's not as rough of a technique to get it on. So I usually try to do that. Hey 
Hey guys, just want to give you an update on when we resealed our teak outdoor wood table. So we did a, we showed you the min wax and how it kind of within a year uh, turned black and kind of nasty and it just didn't look good. So we uh, had to sand it all down, start over, which you, which you saw. We gave you some of the video content on that. So now it's done and you can see it's, it's got a nice finish to it again. And uh, really what we did is we, we sanded it all down, we put the first coat on, and then we had some kind of wonkiness to it where it, was, it soaked in a little bit deeper and it was a little bit shinier in some spots. And so we, what we did is we put another coat on, we wiped it down really well after we put the coat on just to get, make sure we didn't have a lot of excess, um, um, basically teak oil on it. So we, we did that and it actually turned out really nice. We'll let you know how it wears. Um, but it turned out really nice. It has some, some spots are a little shinier than others. Um, and we're going to see how it kind of wears from here. I mean, we don't want to do a lot of sanding on it and restart over uh, to see if we can get it completely smooth. Um, so right now it looks pretty good. And we'll put a link in the description below for the product that we used uh, for this. We'll let you know how it works this time around. If you see a sanding again, you know it didn't work out. We're going to try something else. But at the end of the day, we'll put a link in the description below of the product we used this time. We'll also link it to the Minwax one because we do not recommend that because uh, it didn't work out for us. And maybe we did something wrong. Maybe you guys know we did something wrong or whatever, but it did not work. So subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Go we'll check out um, both our videos on what not to use, which is the Minwax one, and maybe what to use, which is this one. So we'll see you next time. Thanks.